Hey, well, welcome to the Port of Felixstowe on the last day of July 2018. We're now coming into the third month of the Felixstowe disaster, I guess you would say, from a lot of people's point of view, when Felixstowe installed their new NGEN software on the 10th of June. Tomorrow is August and the pain seems to be going on in many ways. We get reports from all kinds of sources, as you probably realise. The port is constantly putting um, what we can only call really a, a fairly uh, shiny and bright gloss on it, telling us that they're doing things and that things are improving. Drivers, uh, freight forwarders are saying essentially that nothing much changing. Things are getting a bit better. Some drivers are reporting their turnarounds inside the port are actually doing very well while other drivers tend to end up sitting there for a couple of hours waiting for something to happen. That's really quite bad news when you've got time deliveries, as you probably realise. As far as the big shipping lines are concerned, well, again, it appears to be not too bright a picture. Uh, in the past, we've seen lines moving ships from one port to another, diverting them to get work done and to get loads removed. And the latest to, uh, to be diverted is MSC Charleston, which was due into Felixstowe, and she is now completely omitting her call at the port of Felixstowe. Goods that are consigned outbound, that's outbound containers, are being loaded on another ship, and inbound import containers are being delayed by about a week. They should arrive in Felixstowe instead of probably tomorrow, today or tomorrow. They should arrive in Felixstowe uh, on the 8th of August. So that's going to be very handy for your just-in-time supplies. Most line, I should think, are, are fairly hacked off because they're constantly juggling their ships to get them in the right places, and I think so are MSC. The general reading we get between the lines is that no one's really very happy and nothing much is getting better. There are assorted stories kicking about, and I think without being able to positively vet those and check where they're coming from, I'm not really willing to publish them at this stage. When we get some kind of confirmation on some of those stories, we'll let you know. In the meantime, I'm Chris Gosling, this is Shipping TV, and I'll see you soon.